dirty as hell. We back, y'all. We back, we back. We back. My bad, y'all. The uh, the, the clock, the top, the timer went off. Um, what? That's it. Need that lines. <laughs> I might grow my shit back out though. I'm never getting a cut again. Twelve USC says if assets has liens, then banks can't make money. If reasons why app assets is back of SS and you haven't proved live wouldn't state technically have a lien on estate therefore a lien on asset well yeah family but you gotta remember what happens to that that lien goes away when you when you go and claim that asset you see what I'm saying the only way they can have a lien on something if something has been claimed that's like you leaving your life in the street and somebody go claim it and put a lien on it but as soon as you come back and claim your life they gotta remove the lien simple Simple. Simple. Yeah. So um yeah so don't overthink it. Uh this it's, that's a good eye to have when you was reading twelve USC four. It was like, um they can't make money on nothing that has a lien on it. All right. So that's that's a uh that's a way to look at it as well. Um they can have a lien on anything if you don't uh go forth and claim like hey y'all this mine's by the way. It's like me going in your house and putting a lien on your TV. You know what I'm saying? That would sound crazy, right? So you got to look at it the same way as banks. When banks put a lien on your car, you got to look at it like they just walked into your house and put a lien on your TV that you bought. You know what I'm saying? Because you already paid for it. You paid for it using your application. The application is the uh, security collateral. All right, again, that's a... Uh, Federal Reserve Section 16 talks about the how the application is to security collateral when it's um, accompanied with a tender of payment, and that's the only way uh, to basically do a full performance, a complete performance. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Hell yeah, I'm about to go back through that ugly hair stage. I'm just going to keep a line. But yeah, I ain't never cut my hair again. That's over with. Oh, the real queen, two federal. Appreciate you for telling me. I'm over here. Ah, da, 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 da. <laughs> I keep losing my AirPod. I don't think it's meant for me to have one. So I, I'm going to stop. I ain't buying no more. I, done, I bought 12 pair of AirPods and I lost all of them. So I ain't buying no more. So you can only have remedy with proof of life. Who said that, family? What is, what is proof of life? You been talking about that affidavit that people? You talking about that affidavit that people got going around? Your proof of life is your is your letter of instructions, family. That's the proof of life. Because only a living person can send a letter. Only a living person can express themselves. So your your proof of life is your instructions, your claim to the estate. Uh, Ant walk fly. Yeah, you just go. On. If they put it in writing, family, I mean, you just go ahead and get ready for your um, third letter. Just, um, go ahead and do your administrative process. Oh, okay. Yeah, you prove you're alive by performing. I know some people that sent that proof of life affidavit to the courtroom, and they've still lost their case, so... 
it's because they didn't know how to uh they didn't know how to enforce uh Katie Spitz uh, says from the Federal Reserve Act it looks like you can just submit a tender with your application from the beginning for the entirety of the contract does that sound accurate 110 percent accurate family 110 percent accurate family that's exactly what the Federal Reserve Act is saying so you gotta remember when we don't do that we got to go back and do it. You see what I'm saying? Meaning that there, there's always a time to claim. All right. But the thing is, we just got to go back and basically do our performance that we didn't do in the beginning. So if you signed an application and you didn't attach it with no tender, you need to go back and take over the account. Because nine times out of ten, they are not looking at you as the owner of the account. They're looking at you uh, like the borrower. They're looking at you like the borrower. What's this shit on? Yeah. Tapping in with you real soon. You ex you express claim to your sentence. So the letter of instructions is how we get the trustee to endorse the bill of exchange. Correct. Any advice for going through eviction? Endorse the bill, waiting for them to sign for it. A guy I spoke with said can't do set off since they aren't operating in trust. They can't get the. <laughs> Well, like we just said, they already got the funds. The application was the funds. A mom's world. So, again, that's why I tell folks you got to understand what's going on because if not, you're going to go off whatever they tell you. They gonna, It's like going to McDonald's and saying, I want to get a Big Mac. And McDonald's saying, we don't sell Big Macs. Oh, well, we don't sell Big Macs. I see the Big Mac sign right there. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, I know, but we don't sell Big Macs. Ask yourself this. Did you give them an application for the place you're about to get evicted? Did you give them an application? So, meaning you need to respond to those eviction papers. On that eviction paper, it says you have five days to respond to the court for reason why you shouldn't be evicted. You need to send everything you sent to the CFO to the courtroom. And that's the reason why you're not supposed to be evicted. So, you can have a hearing a lot of people don't understand eviction is nothing to be scared about. That's just them somebody trying to sue you and you protect yourself by counter uh, 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 by objecting the claims. All right. They're saying you didn't perform. You let the courts know you did perform. Simple. That's how you beat eviction, family. Yeah, it don't matter if court, the court, it don't matter if court date was tomorrow. You better be ready. That's the point. Are you ready for the 19th? That's the question. Are you ready? Because they ready. And if you ain't coming to play, you about to get even mad. Well, pack your stuff up, all right, and go ahead and find some words to live. <laughs> they said they didn't attach their blood thumb. That's why they lost. Yeah, it had to be. <laughs> yeah, they had to be. I have a business credit card. Do I use my all caps name on the business credit card or the business name as the principal? The business name as the principal and your name as the agent, family. How to do the bill of exchange. At, uh, you got to get my class, family. <laughs> Building wealth with tab. I have already done my administrative process, which includes all three tiers of letters, but none of the entities have complied. Please advise. It's nothing to advise, family. You said you sent all three. What's the what's the hold up? Go sue. What you waiting on? You said you just said you said all three tiers. There's nothing more you can do. It's it's time to sue. What, what did you think was gonna happen? You thought you just had to send three, and they was gonna just give you what you're asking for? You thought it was that easy? No, you don't have to prove you're alive to the state, family. The state ain't got nothing to do with your T-Mobile bill. The state has nothing to do with your your mortgage. All right, the state has nothing to do with your car unless you want them to have something to do with it. 
It's up to you. Nah, family, you don't got to really send me no proof, family. Uh, the only proof you really going to send me is something that was passed down to you, family. The only proof you can send to me that I would like is for you to find out what were the people called before the name Moore was created. All right, because indigenous Indians that was already over here claimed and said that they seen the European Moors come over. All right, so meaning this wasn't Moors wasn't already over here. That's there was there, there, those are Europeans. And I, and I know the indigenous uh, uh, tribe that was already here wasn't calling themselves Moors, family. No Indian tribe called themselves Moors. All right? It doesn't matter what, because whatever history you got to show me, it doesn't go back far enough. I know it doesn't. All right? Because what was, even if we want to say the Moroccan Empire was here, what was before the Moroccan Empire? You see what I'm saying? What was before Morocco? I don't think Morocco was over here. I don't. I don't think that. Somebody said. Uh, I seen somebody posted that Morocco was in Indiana. I don't. I don't. That's just me. I don't. I don't think that. I just think we have so much history here that the Moors did not touch. All right, because I feel like there was another group out there. All right, but I'm not. Um, I kind of got into that a little bit on my last live. But again, bro, we can have this conversation. I don't want you to deter, deter you or anything like that. I'm just asking what my next question is going to be. If you send me some information showing us that we was Moors, my next question would be, okay, what were we called before we was called Moors? Because now you're saying that Moors was the first people. And I, did, well, and I know that the Moors wasn't the first people. All right, my next question would be, who taught the Moors? Who taught the Moors? Yep. So anytime you hear the word eviction, y'all, that's somebody trying to evict you out of your estate. So just like with your all caps name, when you was born, when you turn 18, all the way up to the age of 25, if you never said anything, they basically evicted you from your estate. So the same eviction that goes on with... Um, dealing with apartments or houses, the same thing that goes on with your estate. So all you got to do is, let, again, express yourself. All right, that's how you beat an eviction, by expressing yourself the correct way. USA told me they need more info on the POA cap. They're lying to you. Uh, start your five days. You know, just, just act like they never sent you that. Just, just do your administrative process and act like they never sent you that. I just be ignoring them. If they don't tell me yes, I just continue on. I just ignore them like they never sent me nothing. My next event is going to be in California, July 22nd. Yep, if you get a lawyer, they definitely take your interest. Oh, uh, tell Avery I said what's up. Tell, uh, tell your nephew he better be steady. <laughs> tell him he better be steady. Oh, okay. Yeah, you got to file federal. Got to file federal. This is a federal claim. A breach of contract is a federal claim. Yeah, yeah, like I say, I'm not, I like I say I ain't taking it. I ain't taking that from Oh, I know we ain't no Hebrew Israelites. I know we ain't that. <laughs> I claim more before I claim uh, Israelite. 
this is my uh, personal overstanding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, um, I, Maul Prez. Yeah, I would love to keep having this conversation, fam. Yeah, you could, uh, definitely, uh, but, um, you can shoot me a DM, but my assistant, and everybody that's DM me, y'all, y'all gotta remember, y'all are talking to my assistant. Um, every time y'all DM me, you're not talking to me. Um, only time you're talking to me if it's, like, a book conversation or, like, say, dealing with, um, where I have to do a, uh, some kind of update for your ERC. But everybody else, you gotta remember, that's my, that is my assistant that y'all are talking to in my DMs. Um, and she get basically forwards me whatever question it is. So, uh, yeah, just want to let y'all know that. Don't, because I have some uh, women saying some very explicit things in my DM, not knowing that's not me. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes, the California class, I'm going to go step by step California for 150 So that's why I said if y'all don't want to spend the 500 you can come to California for 150 and get the step by step. Uh, no, nah, I'm not. I mean, you can call family. Somebody say so. You're not advising us to call them after first tier. They're not really, um, because you gotta, you still got a ways to go. Let's say you call them and they just hit you with some. Oh, sorry, sir. We just, you know what I'm saying? Like, just don't give you no real information. Documentation is always over conversation. You always want to send documentation before you have a conversation. So if you have the conversation, it doesn't go the way you want it to go. You still have the documentation that's gonna be set in stone. How can I fight wage garnishment um, by um, doing your administrative process? Um, and another thing, they shouldn't have your account. You need to unlink whatever garnishment they're doing. Is it what, it's IRS? If it's IRS, you need to ask for the bill so you can endorse the bill. But you got to know what's going on first. You see how you see you see what I'm saying? So it's like when people say, what do I do about this? I'd be like, yeah, you got to perform. Then they'd be like, how do I perform? I'd be like, you got to do your administrative process. They'd be like, how do I do my administrative process? <laughs> That's why I say you got to start from square one. You got to start from square one. My case has gone past the statute of limitations. Not, not if there's fraud, family. You got to bring up the fraud. If you can find the fraud in your case, there is no statute of limitations. You see what they did to Bill Cosby. Dang, Sasha, you just gonna drop my government like that? <laughs> Have you read Give Yourself Credit or the Redemption Manual? No, I haven't. Not saying I won't, but family, we're not Israelites. I knew somebody was going to say that. <laughs> Whoever think they're an Israelite, okay. I'm here to let you know. If you don't do your genealogy and see that your family and bloodline was in Israel, you're not an Israelite family. Like, what is, what is an Israelite? Let's, 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 what is a Hebrew Israelite? Do you speak Hebrew? All right. Do we do do we know that that has a birth date? What I mean by it is, if your um. If the culture you follow has a birth date, meaning a genesis, I would suggest to lay that culture down. Um, that's why I'm not, uh, I don't want to say I'm cultureless, but I know that a lot of these stuff has expiration dates. Meaning a lot of this stuff hasn't been around a long time. You see what I'm saying? So think about the days when the word Israel light was not around. You see what I'm saying? So you got to kind of understand, like, do you want to, it's like me calling us consumer lights. And then 500 years from now, people saying, you know, I'm a consumer light. 
I could really create consumer lights. Like, and literally have, you know what I'm saying? Like, and there are people, there will be people that say, I'm a consumer light. I come from the people of the consumer, the consumerism. All right, so you got to remember, remember all the labels that was created. Somebody created that. All right, so if, yo, if you go and buy a label, that's why I'm labelless. Like somebody, a lot of people ask me, what are you? What are you Moorish? Are you Israelites? All right, are you, what are you? And I just be like, I'm, I'm just me. And they get mad when I tell them that. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I read Give Yourself Credit. It was really good. Yeah, I never read it before, y'all. It might be good. I never read it. Oh, shit. No one about to miss this flight, though. But, yeah, with that being said, y'all, I'm about to go ahead and get on this flight. Uh, I'll, I'll do some more free consultation answers. Um, and we'll talk some more about, you know, um, Moore's. Uh, Israelites, uh, you know, all that. Uh, I love those type of conversations. So, but, um, but yeah, I'm about to get on my flight, y'all. Peace and love. Uh, I'm going to tap in soon for all my ERC folks. Make sure you're calling the IRS, checking on those 941s, quarter one, quarter two. If they don't have anything on record for Alright y'all, peace and love.